He shaves his head year after year and never fails to be the keystone of the entire event. Not to mention his relentless enthusiasm that makes it exciting to actually learn pre-calc. Please welcome the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Anderson. Mr. Anderson is a student favorite for many here at Rampart because he has a passion for his teaching. The best thing about teaching is the students, hands down. The relationships um, with my current students, my former students, the opportunity to build relationships with the students, the spontaneity of working with, with my students, and you just never know what's going to happen in a classroom at any given time. He has a surprising background in math. I don't think anybody's more surprised that I'm a math teacher than my math teachers. Um, I never was an exceptional math student. I was just a hard worker. In college, I discovered that I could do math, and um, it's an opportunity to help show students that they can do math, that uh, it's a challenge to make the math approachable, and um, maybe occasionally even fun. It's worth a shot. He brightens the day of the people surrounding him. Definitely the highlight with Mr. Anderson is his hyperbola dance. And um, if you can get it on, on camera, it's great. But uh, I, I usually, when he's around, he'll do it for my calculus classes. And uh, so that's, that's got to be my favorite memory, the hyperbola dance. <laughs> his comedy, <laughs> his humor in general, it makes everybody really like relaxed and makes us not stress as much about anything. I don't get to see him a lot, but uh, uh, when we did work together full time, it was a lot of fun. So I would go to his classes and joke around. He would come to my classes and, and uh, so a lot of fun. I do have one complaint about Mr. Anderson, okay? Um, he's kind of a diva. He, um, he doesn't let me use his markers for the whiteboard. Diva, the guy's a diva. But other than that, he's a nice guy. His kindness? extends way beyond the classroom, and he has become the muscle of Bald for Bucks. I do a little bit of this and that for Bald for Bucks. It's honestly a, a team and community-wide effort. So many people do so much to make Bald for Bucks happen. I'm just part of a team. Uh, mostly I make sure that we have deadlines set up, that we have sign-ups that go smoothly, that we have a t-shirt, that we have the shirt sizes, uh, that we coordinate with student council, volunteer stylists. Um, again, it's just, just a community effort. Everybody, everybody owns Ball for Bucks. Everybody has a piece of it. Probably when I told him that I was going to do Ball for Bucks because he like cheered me on, he like hugged it out. Be sure to say hi to him in the halls and thank him for his contributions to our wonderful community. 